Right, here we go in the first of uh, hopefully a series of uh, Photoshop quick fix techniques. Um, I'm going to open Photoshop. Uh, as you know, when you shoot a raw file, all data is uh, as shot uh, compared to JPEG, which processes the file for you. Adds contrast, maybe color saturation, uh, sharpening, etc. In this quick tutorial, we're going to treat a raw file uh, to include all these fixes in one layer. So, start off by opening a file. As you can see, it's opened in Camber Raw, which is my default setting here at the moment. Uh, you can tell looking at the image that there are blown highlights and lost shadow detail. Uh, the lost shadow detail is shown up in blue, blown highlights in red. You can toggle this uh, on and off in your camera raw settings, but it's only really at the moment. The Shadow details in this particular image don't annoy me because they are black. So it's not a concern. What is a concern is any lost detail here in the sky, which is very easily remedied with the recovery slider over here. We pull it back. And if you watch the graph at the top right hand of the screen, it changes. So now we have no peak. On the right hand side which means there is no highlight detail lost. The image lacks an overall brightness. Um, so in this case I just bang a bit of fill light in and the technique that I'm going to use I can afford to actually overdo this slightly because once I uh, correct in Photoshop it's going to add a lot of contrast which will uh, darken it somewhat. You can see here a little bit of uh, lost highlight detail creeping back in because of the brightening, but it's insignificant. Uh, we'll just go ahead and open the image as it is now. I click and open image. It will now open itself in Photoshop. <coughs> it didn't. It did, but I've done something wrong. So we'll just reopen Photoshop. Right, you can see the image opened here. Uh, you may notice down this bottom corner I have this set to show my document size, which at the moment is 120 megabytes, which is quite large because I have my raw settings set as such. All well, my images open in 16 bit mode. Um, which I would recommend you do if you're going to be any heavy manipulation. But for the purposes of this, I'll just change it down to an 8 bit image. And you'll notice down here, file size drops down to 60 megabytes, which is a lot more manageable and quite enough for this uh, tutorial. Right, we've done our quick basic corrections in Camera Raw. As you can see, from the image is, well, it's going to be no award winner but it is, uh, it's light, it lacks contrast and could probably do with a little touch of sharpening as most raw images do. So to do this in one fell swoop, the easiest method I've found is to duplicate the background layer by dragging it down to the layer icon here. Now it becomes background copy. You can rename this uh, purposes of this on the bother. When I apply a filter to this background copy, which is a high pass filter, and once you click that your dialog box opens up in the center, you can see I have the preview ticked, so it shows me exactly what's happening in the image. The effect is increased or decreased using the slider. I'll keep it fairly high. 
this technique. It's not critical because this is totally editable after we apply it. So I'll just click OK. That's now been applied to the image. And if we go back up to our layers palette, <coughs> obviously the background copy is still live. It's highlighted in blue. But if you go above to the top of the palette, it's, you can see that it is in normal blending mode. We want to change this to overlay. Uh, any image that you say duplicate in this manner and change to overlay will increase contrast and saturation. And in this case, it will define the outlines of the image a lot better as well. So change that to overlay. Automatically, you see quite a dramatic change in the image. Uh, and if I toggle the layer, the background copy layer on and off, you can see that. That's the original. That's what the uh, change is applied. And if we zoom in, maybe toggle that again before and after. As it stands, I would say this is slightly overdone. Where this becomes uh, invaluable, because it's on a separate layer, it's totally editable. As I said, it's a bit stronger effect. So, simply click the opacity there and we get a drop down slider. And I knock that back to somewhere about 50%. Change is a lot more subtle. And if we toggle that on and off. You can see the change. It has boosted the contrast and the highlights are brighter. Overall it's a lot sharper. And basically that is one quick fix for a raw file. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll try and get another couple of quick tips and have them posted on the web for you.